Um, does Kevin now have tier on his 5K team after watching the 10? You know, that's a great question because I'm looking at Gordon's 5K rankings. Fisher, Chalimo, Tier, Lamong, Bohr, McGordy, Hawker, Kincaid, Klecker, Nico Young, and Ben True. So if you take Lamong out if he's hurt, if you put McGordy in the, in the steeple. In the steeple. Yeah, it's like the amount of people left are, are pretty low. I mean, you, you feel good about uh, Tier mixing it up with those guys. But, I mean, I don't want to change my picks. But, yeah, those guys who were hurt today, who did not finish the 10K, I don't think you're very optimistic about it. Just because Bernard Legat did it in 2016 doesn't mean it's going gonna, it's gonna to happen. Um, will Doc Rivers get fired after the Sixers loss? No, we can't do that now. We're staying on track. Not yet. Uh, any no, concern for Michael talk. Norman? I don't know. No, why not, are people concerned about Michael Norman? I don't of know. All the people to be concerned about. Why are people concerned about Michael Norman? I don't. I don't understand. Maybe because this he did a whole segment all. about it. Maybe I don't know. No, I mean people watched and they probably saw the Michael Johnson tweet and they thought it was he's in peril. I think he's fine. Uh, a lot of people yeah. asking about Tony Shatari. Yeah, I don't. I would be. I would be surprised if she's able to rally and get on the team. I think if she's able to make the final, I think it would be. Uh, a big, a big success. I think two things are happening in that race. The veterans are rallying, and the college get, like Sturgis is holding. I think that's and we, you you get down to only a few spots. All it takes is a couple people um, ahead of you that you didn't anticipate, and then you are you're quickly out of the mix. But you know, Gordon mentioned Tiana Daniels. I was talking about JVN Oliver. They they came to play. They were ready. Gabby Thomas. They were all they were all there. So that just makes things uh, much much tougher. Um, so I think if she gets through to the, I mean, her heat is. Let's see. She's in lane one, in a heat with Desiree Bryant, Aaliyah Hobbs, Javen Oliver, Gabby Thomas, Makai Briscoe, English Gardner, and a Kinnison. That's tough heat. <laughs> that's that's a tough heat, and it's top three. Plus the next two fastest. I mean, they're all they're all tough heats at this point, right? We talked. Okay, that you can cruise through the first round, and then it turns quickly into this is real tough. You know what? This may be coming from left field, and could be completely not real. But part of track and field is not just physical. There's a mental aspect. And her mm -hmm. coach, right after they won a national title, is leaving for Georgia. Carol Smith. So she's now Georgia. Mm -hmm. So. Maybe dealing with like that coaching change, like, hey, my coach that I've had for four years is going across the country, and you're kind of mm -hmm. like dealing with that. And I know like that's not something that I'm sure she's still coaching her here through the trials. It's not like she got on the plane to Georgia already, but maybe that's a factor of like dealing with like the high of you're winning a national championship and then the low of like, oh, my coach is leaving, and now I got to yeah. figure out what I'm doing with the rest of my career. I don't want. I don't know if I want to move to Georgia and follow her. This that, and the other thing, that could be a factor. I'm not saying it is, but hey, mental games are a thing. We talk. I talk about. You wonder if the whole Shelby Houlihan story is going to affect the Bowerman athletes. Well, so far it hasn't affected Kincaid and Fisher because they just easily There's, went one yeah. two in the 10K. The the women we have yet to really see if they've only they haven't really been challenged yet. But mental is a part of the game and. When it's outside distractions, it could mess up. It can hit you on the track. So that could be a factor. And and, 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 and I, I know I said before, hey, like fifth in the heat, that's tough to, to rebound from. It is the 100. Maybe there was just some issue with the start. Maybe that's able to get cleaned up. Again, I didn't I didn't get a chance yet to watch all the replays of, of the race and figure out uh, if you could see what the issue was with her. But my, my point is more, it's like the, the competition is very stiff. So it's it's like – you're going to have to figure out a way to 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 run, you know, another 10-9 type of race here. I'm going to go quickly through these other questions. Uh, why did Cranny DNS the 15? Because she wanted to run the five. Um, yeah. DC Noel asks Ellie Hennis, a contender in the five? She looked good today. I mean, everyone looked good in the five. So, no, not not in my mind yet. I think we got There's just a different people. tier. Yeah, there's a yeah. different tier. You got Norris, you got Schneider, you got Cranny, you got Schweizer, right? Yeah. That's the that's the top tier. Those four. Yeah. Uh, do you think yeah. Lopez is going to try the five k? If I this was, try. 
if this was a, I would put him as questionable. If this was a major yeah. major sport like football or basketball, this was questionable. Uh, Jim says if Grant Fisher repped Canada, because remember he had the opportunity, right? Um, he did. Uh, where do they rank among distance powers right now? Sneaky smart move to go with choosing the, to race for Team USA. Yeah, he'd have he'd have just he'd yeah. have Justin Knight and and Mohamed, but Canada would be nuts right now. Canada would be going wild. They got a lot of bodies up there. That would be fun. He may, uh, you'd think he like made the harder decision, but he might have actually made the easier decision looking back on it. It's crazy. Someone have Gatlin retires if he doesn't make top three. No, I think he'd run on the relay. So I think as long as he gets in the top six. Top six. Oh, I, I think he's going to, I think he's going to do the, the home world championships next year. I think he'll come back for next year. Uh, I don't know. And then, and then the year after that and the year after that, and he's never going to retire. <laughs> uh, how do you feel about Nico? being that he had more time to focus on the trials. I, I think low-key Nico might actually run really well because he is didn't do NCAAs, and I think he's a talent, and I think he just got – he had a bad day or bad race in a yeah. weird time trial type, like prelim type competition, and I think Nico Young will make the final and finish top 10. I don't think he's going to be top three, but I could see him finishing between seven and 10. I'll be – uh, Ethan asks, worried about Bryce Hopple. I'm not. No. If if the injury thing didn't get brought up in the press conference, it would not have been in my mind based on running. I know other people in the chat, Kyle says Hopple did not look great to me. But the, that's the tough thing. You don't know if they're just managing effort or if there's an yeah. actual issue. Um, Frank says, sh- asks, should Herta have entered the 15 instead of the 800? Maybe. Yeah. Especially when you take Shelby out, the 15 just becomes a two-spot opportunity, right? Mm-hmm. With with L. Perrier basically being the only lock, and then there's two people. There's two spots open. Yeah. All right. Thanks for all the questions and the comments. Hey, on one last thing. Yeah. One last thing. Tomorrow, uh, the the men's hundred meter first round heat four has Noah Lyles, Ronnie Baker, and Fred Curley. So we see it right away oh, wow. in Heat 4. <laughs> Especially Baker going up against Curly because Baker talked about on our site about getting to race Curly in his, in their, his event. Uh, I'm yeah. excited to see that. Lyles, Baker, and Curly in the first round. That'll be fun. The track gods are smiling on us with these yes. heat sheets. That's good. That's good. Uh, okay, so we'll be back tomorrow again to recap it. You can tune in live right after the last event to the Flow Track Podcast YouTube channel. Stay tuned to – to flow track for all the post-race interviews insight analysis check out our new site check out oh there's a new site look you can find everything it's podcast heavy folks so if you're a podcast fan you'll love the new site thanks to colt for producing thanks to travis for producing thanks to my new roommate gordon mack who lives upstairs gordon i'm moving in you don't have any kids i have three at home we'll talk to you guys tomorrow (laughs) 